Ella in Palm Springs writes to me and he says, she, maybe it's a, I don't know, whatever gender you are. I used to always and still do read about how a certain speaker is better for rock, another better for classical music, another for vocals, and the list goes on. Which leads me to my question. I know that no speaker is perfect, but if a speaker is well designed and built, shouldn't it be able to resolve all genres of music? Among many others, I have a pair of Acoustic Research AR9 speakers, which are my favorites. To my ears, they are capable of reproducing all genres of music effortlessly. So is it just me, or is it that these reviewers haven't heard what I have heard? How much would someone have to spend on a new pair of speakers that would match the performance of a pair of AR9s nowadays? Well, I think that's a really good question because certainly in the past and pretty much now today, I would say speakers are classified still as being really good at this and not so good at that. Now that's something that Chris Brunhaver, our loudspeaker designer of the Aspen series, we are totally against. We design it for all music. I mean, that's, that's one of our core principles. So you take a pair of Aspens, uh, just an FR10, an FR20 or 30, and you listen to it, whether it's classical or rock, it's gonna sound great. And that is how speakers should work. But in general, they don't. And I'm really pleased that your AR9s, which I've seen them, but I've never quite heard them. So that's great. I, I think reviewers in general, depending on who, like the very experienced reviewers, oh heavens, they, they've certainly heard speakers that work great for all music. Um, Wilson speakers, some of my favorite speakers out there, Daryl Wilson, uh, um, he, uh, his father Dave, who's now passed, has uh, built speakers that are terrific sounding on just about, I mean, I can listen to rock or to jazz or to classical on a pair of Wilsons, they're great stuff. But you take something like one of my other favorite speakers, Magna Planers, they're not so great on rock and roll music. They're better on classical and on uh, light jazz, they do okay on rock, and, and the reason is because they're limited in their ability to reproduce bass, to reproduce dynamics. They don't have great dynamics. Now, classical music requires great dynamics, but that's big orchestral pieces, of which they also aren't great. So, and I'm not picking on magna planers because, listen, I have owned magna planers probably more magna planers over more years than any other speaker other than say infinities and as you many know i big advocate of magna planar speakers and planars in general and i moved from those to the infinities because they had what the planars the magna planers had but they also had dynamics and now all of a sudden when pink floyd comes on whoo it's a hoot when we went to build the Aspen speaker line, that was one of our core principles. You gotta love Pink Floyd on a pair of Aspens just as much as you do a string quartet. So it's rare, but it is certainly possible. And I'm glad you found it. All right, thanks for the question. Talk to you later.